I'm Chris, it's Wednesday, it's Earth Juice. Coming up this week, wrinkly fingers, lions in decline, and whale detecting robots. Squeeze me. Now, there's nothing I like more than putting on some lounge jazz. Working up a nice lather and having a bath. But why do my fingers and toes go all wrinkly? Well, researchers from Newcastle University in the UK have discovered that there may be an evolutionary reason for this. Asking test subjects to keep their fingers submerged in water for 30 minutes, they were then asked to pick up various marbles and fishing weights that were both wet and dry. The watery results show that wrinkly fingers were much better at picking up the slippery objects. But were no better at picking up the dry ones. Researcher Tom Smulders suggests that the wrinkling of fingers may have helped our ancestors forage for food in wet conditions, and that prune-like toes could have evolved from a need to run barefooted on wet or slippery ground. The team now plans to carry out further research to see if other animals share the trait. Have you got the soap? While last week we reported that wild tigers are on the increase, this week it's been revealed that sadly lion numbers are on the way down. Lion Aid, a charity dedicated to lion conservation, revealed that while 30 years ago there were around 200,000 lions roaming across Africa, now that number is down to as little as 15,000 on the entire continent. And that in Western and Central Africa, where the lions are genetically distinct from their southern and eastern cousins, the lions are on the brink of extinction. Dr. Peter Cat from Lion Aid revealed that the lions are threatened by a loss of habitat, the loss of their natural prey due to poaching, the threat from high levels of trophy hunting, and most recently, the substitution of lion bones for tiger bones in the Asian traditional medicine market. Unfortunately, some of the authorities seem to be doing very little to address this issue, putting profit before the survival of this much loved and iconic species. And unless some real efforts are made to protect lions, experts predict that within our own lifetimes, there is a real danger of these animals becoming extinct in the wild. This would not only be a devastating blow to the species, it would also create a huge hole in Africa's ecosystem. Now, we love robots here on Earth Juice. We've reported on robot bees, robots inside cows, and now scientists in the Gulf of Maine on the east coast of America have even used robots to trace endangered whales. Operated by scientists, Two robots were set adrift in the choppy waters and equipped with digital monitoring apparatus, they're able to locate and identify the calls from four different species of baleen whale, the say whale, the fin whale, the humpback whale, and the right whale. Thanks, Left. With an onboard satellite antenna, the salty robots surface every few hours to gather a GPS position and send the data back in real time to their base, where researchers then analyze the results. Researcher Mark Baumgartner from the Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution revealed that on the day the robots were launched, they detected their first whale in just a few hours, adding that their whale-detecting robots gave conservationists a much more cost-effective alternative to ships or planes as a means of locating whales. With the use of these new high-tech robots, ecologists now have a new tool that will help them understand the secretive lives of these large creatures that live out of sight beneath the surface of the sea. And also, by knowing where these whales are, scientists can monitor human interactions with these leviathans and understand how our activities can have a devastating effect on their lives. That's it, people. That was the news. I'll be back next week. Thankfully, he won't. So I'll see you then. say what I want to say to you. <clears throat> oh dear, my mother's going to watch this. <laughs> Hi mom. Are you proud? <laughs>